Hey everybody, Norm Johnson here from Enchanted Fibers, where our life today is focused on bringing life to uh, luxury fibers. So that's our mission here. That's what we try and do on a daily basis as much as possible. So I'm going to share with you here. I'm going to kind of go through the process. I've finished painting my black canvas. And, uh, you know, I'm going to take my uh, bubbler. No, maybe I can move it over there. There we can go. So I'll take my bubbler and I'm going to just kind of wet down the edges. I want to try and get everything wet and all oh, then I can fix the edges a little bit where the uh, fiber has a tendency to maybe want to push out as it goes from a 3D model to a 2D model. You know, then I got that spread around, but one thing I like is I like to take just the plastic uh, sacks that you get from the merchants, like your grocery store or Target or Walmart or wherever you may purchase, and then put it in my soapy water, and then I just kind of put it in and Kind of press things down and wet them. Well, this isn't working as well today, but. Um, So I'll wet things down and then I'll cover it up with my uh, mosquito netting. It keeps the uh, fibers from bouncing around too much from where I laid them out. Get a lot more colors in here than I normally have, so it'll be interesting to see how the finished product comes along. But it's always good to kind of step out and try something new. You know the uh, the style. I mean the the cape style itself is. Maybe something I've made, I don't know, a hundred times, but uh, never, never the same colors, never the same approach. 
or, you know, the approach is the same, but color is always different. Um, so but, uh, that's a great part about felting is you're following the same process. You're going to, you know, maybe make the same style, whether it's a vest or a scarf or poncho. But it always ends up being a one-of-a-kind product when you're finished. Same applies to the hats. So again, in this uh, cape, I have silk gauze as a base, and I have black alpaca on that. And then I've painted on the black alpaca um, different uh, with different fibers and different fabrics. Just kind of pushing the fibers here on the ins to the edge. Probably should grab my glasses and so I can see. And with this, I have, I have my edges marked with a marker on the back side of the uh, bubble wrap. I don't advise doing that if you're going to use white uh, because permanent marker is not permanent, especially when it gets close to soap and water. Um, so done some things in white and had that red marker bleed and end up with a you know, pink scarf. So that wasn't, that wasn't fun because it did the bleeding during when I was rolling um, and things. So, but, so be careful how you mark your edges, but, um, There are other ways, you know, you know, you can use yarn and you can use whatever. I just, I find this works, you know, good for me. The edges are, end up being straight. Um, through the process, you might, you know, because of the shrinkage and things there, you know, Gonna have those, but those pushing those again, just pushing those edges in, evening them out. Another thing you can do is if you know, what I've done in the past is take this edge and because it's marked, I can just bend it over and press things down. Um, challenge there is you have some edges that maybe go over some of your color designs and things as well. So it's not not always advisable to take that approach, but can make uh, make this process a little easier at different times. But, so, but I have my edges pushed in. I'm gonna now cover it up. Have some mosquito netting that's. Four foot. And you want to we'll have to be a little careful because it's still can catch on the fibers. 
and move them to places where you maybe didn't want them. But uh, at the same time, there was really no rhyme or reason to the way that I laid the fibers in. There's no pattern or anything, so we just covered it up. So. Yeah, so I have it covered. Again, I'm going to use use my plastic sack to kind of just kind of lightly rub things and press down. You can just bounce around. And make sure everything's kind of wet. Have more water here, so. through things. You can see the edge kind of moves, so put that in. And my uh, heartfelt silks sander. Like these little tools, just kind of pushes on top and Again, I'm not going very heavy on pressure, just kind of wanting to make sure everything's covered, wet. So we'll spend another hour or so doing that and just kind of repeat this process. But, um, you know, we'll check in in a little while. You guys have a great day.